Oh, yeah, now I remember. It was that damn grenade guy. I wanted to punch the hell out of him, but I couldn't reach him. Why couldn't you reach him? There was a ditch. A simple ditch stopped you? This was no mere simple ditch. It was full of tentacles and blood-stained spears that moved up and down and bony arms that tried to grab me and deadly lays. Okay, okay, Mr. Fox. I get it. You couldn't reach him. For your own good, I'll not include the spears, arms, and tentacles in my report. Now, Mr. Fox, please continue your story. All right. The fight began as he tossed the first grenade at me. Boss defeated. Huh. Did I just hear a rat? Get out from your hole, you cowardly vermin! Look what the cat dragged in. The escaped prisoner. You've got some big balls coming here, rodent. The situation was Fubar. He was armed and hunkered down behind his desk. I was screwed. So what did you do? In five nanoseconds, I scrutinized the room and noticed a very subtle detail. There is a large globe in the middle of the room. I already had what I needed to take him down. Pissing me off! Damn you! Boss defeated! You must have been very lonely down there. Nah, I had some company. thing had tentacles? Well, now that you mention it... It had six tentacles. dead, but then my luck turned south. The old flamethrower broke apart as I continued the fight, so I finished it the old-fashioned way, with my fists.
boss defeated. I noticed a few abandoned crates that were thirsty for some punch. They seemed easy to reach. That is, until the containers started to drop. Boss defeated. Well, well, well. If it isn't the slippery, cowardly pet of that traitorous bitch. What's up? Is your conjugal visit over? <laughs> I'm in charge of enforcing curfew, and only I can leave from here. Problem with a building this large? There are too many hideouts for a mutt like you. So... Now it's just you and us, mutt. You can't run, and you can't hide. Tough little mongrel, aren't you? I wonder if old dogs can learn new tricks. Let's see you chew your way through lasers. <laughs> Boss defeated. There was nobody in the room, but my instincts told me it was a perfect place for a trap. defeated. I ran into a guard as I went in. He was urinating. Please don't tell me you pissed that guard off while he was urinating. I couldn't. Someone beat me to it. What the hell are you doing, scumbag? Sir, I'm peeing, sir. Did you wash your hands? Uh, no, sir. I'll wash them when I'm done, sir. Are you touching your dick with your dirty hands? How can you be such a pig? Hands are washed before, not after peeing. Sir, yes, sir. Why did you stop peeing, scumbag? Sir, I ran out of pee, sir. What a pussy! Who do you think you are, a fucking civil? A soldier continues peeing even if his balls are empty. Now get the hell out of here! Sir, yes, sir. Sergeant, there's someone behind you. Fuck, soldier, did I tell you to look behind me? Uh, no, sir. Then why the hell are you looking behind me? Here, you don't look, listen, or speak unless I tell you to do it. Understood? Sir, yes, sir. That damn drill sergeant acted tough with his men, but he ended up crying like a baby with me.
It's been stolen, sir. Someone broke into my locker and took it. And who the hell was it? We still don't know his identity, sir, but we have a clue. What clue, you fuck? We know he was born. In the same state you were, sir. So that son of a bitch is from Texas. Hold on. You're telling me you're from Texas? Only two things come out of Texas. Propane and assholes. I don't see any propane accessories. And I know you're full of shit. Me full of shit? What, you little? Of course you are. Look at your brown eyes. What? My eyes are blue. You sure? The whole base is talking about your brown eye. No. No! I'm not! Just as he started to tear up, I helped old Blue Eyes kiss the canvas. Boss defeated! Thanks, dude. Oh, I mean... Freeze, or I'll shoot! What the hell are you doing, scumbag? Aiming at you with my weapon. Fuck, soldier, did I tell you to aim your weapon at me? Uh, no, sir. Then why the hell are you aiming your fucking weapon at me? Here you don't look, listen, or speak unless I tell you to do it. Understood? Sir, yes sir. Did you wash your hands before aiming your weapon at me, scumbag? Uh, no sir. Fuck, how can you be such a pig? Get the hell out of here. Sir, yes sir. You're Fox, right? I knew you were going to pass through here sooner or later. I'm Machine Gun Mike. Are you ready to face me? Or are you going to run away like a coward? Run away? I don't run from dead men. Then prepare to die. Hide as much as you want. Those sand... Machine gun! Damn you, Fox! Boss defeated! What the fuck? <laughs> Come on, Fox! Try tossing your puny grenades now! Machine gun Mike? Nope. Now I go by the name Splash Mike. Why splash? Because I'm going to splash your entrails all over the place. Defeated. You had to feel lonely, locked in that submarine underwater. Nah, I had some company.
Boss Defeated. Are you telling me that a nuclear submarine attacked you? That's what I'm saying. I see. And now you're going to tell me you fought it instead of running away. Of course. I would have left it alone if it didn't launch its missiles. And nobody launches missiles at me without permission. defeated my triumph was fleeting the platform collapsed after the ballistic abuse from all the missiles defeated. I am Takuma Takagashi, Great Japanese Samurai Warrior, Guardian of General X. If you're the boss of those assholes, know that they couldn't take two punches. You insult Japanese culture, you die by my katana. Really? I'm going to show you what I think about your damn karate. So, great courage in combat. To fight you has been great honor. Sayonara. Hasta la vista, baby. Boss defeated. Mr. Fox, 
leaving so soon, and without a farewell. That's not very neighborly of you. And what's that on your shoulder? That's personal property, Mr. Fox. Haven't your parents taught you never to steal? General X stood in my way, assuming it was really him and not another hologram. Are you asking yourself if I'm another hologram? Well, yeah. Haha, <laughs> no. Not this time. It is I, in the flesh. Good. Then I'll... Put a bullet in my head. You read my mind. Please tell me, Mr. Fox. How does one shoot that which they cannot see? What? What the fuck? Do you like my new device, Mr. Fox? Optical electronic hollow camouflage. The latest in nanotechnology. Obviously, if you start firing randomly, there's still a chance I may be hit. I believe dumb luck is a concept you're fond of? Hmm? So if you don't mind, I invite you to expend some ammunition with some friends. I suspect you've stashed some grenades, though. Let's find out. Well, you should be low on ammo by now which means it's time to comfortably finish you. By the way, I'm sure you may have noticed by now, while you were distracted with my friends, I took the liberty to follow you around and recover some of my stolen property. <laughs> to injure me, Mr. Fox. Sincerely, this was beyond my expectations. Luckily, you've brought my first aid kits. Hope you don't mind that you're missing one. So, you've been stealing my stuff. Your stuff? Everything you've acquired is from my base, Mr. Fox. And as the proverb states, one who steals from a thief will receive a hundred years of pardon. That bastard had been stealing from me while I was busy destroying his machines. And I'm sure he was going to steal more stuff as he needed it. First aid kits, Mr. Fox. Unfortunately, you'll be unable to heal yourself anymore. Fortunately, it also means that you've run out of them. Which adds to the thrill. Let the best man win. What the fuck? You bastard! Mr. Fox, first you complain because I remove your belongings. And now you complain again when I return them? What? Cheer up. I simply gave back your rusty wire. Although, maybe I've been a little brusque. You can find it between your ribs. By the way, Mr. Fox, let's see if you can kill me before bleeding to death. Good luck. <laughs> Oh. <laughs> 
I have uh, underestimated you, Mr. Fox. Yeah. Boss defeated.